for years, there have been mysterious reports from various regions on the planet. Although these stories are interesting, some people have a hard time believing them. In some cases, photographs have been presented which help to back up these claims. So today, here at Unexplained Mysteries, we'll be taking a look at three mysterious creatures. The Civil War Pterosaur The Civil War Pterosaur is a photograph that was allegedly taken between the years of 1864 and 1865. It portrays a group of Civil War Army soldiers belonging to the Union Army. What's incredible about this photograph is that they're posing next to the body of what seems to be a giant pterosaur. These were avian reptiles that existed during the Mesozoic era. Researchers have said that they lived during the Late Triassic and had gone extinct near the end of the Cretaceous, but some don't believe this to be the case. This photo shows a troop of Union soldiers who have allegedly shot down the prehistoric creature somewhere near the town of Vicksburg, Mississippi. However, this animal is almost 60 million years out of place, so the question is, how is this possible? To reveal the truth behind this mystery, we must first uncover where this photo came from. The photo was made known by John Whitcomb and his partner, Clifford Paver. These two men are both young Earth creationists, a religious belief that the Earth and all life on it were created in a literal six-day span, and that all life found can't date back more than 6,000 years. When Whitcomb and Paver found the photo, they thought it was proof of young Earth creationism, and they dubbed it as the pterosaur photo. Their basic idea was that the bones of dinosaurs that we have found were of those who died during the flood of Noah's time. Because this wasn't as long ago, they state that a few rare dinosaurs, including the flying avian species, could have survived to the modern era. Unsurprisingly, there were some sceptics. Historians in the study of that era came across a discovery that led to the true origin of this photo being discovered. When examining the uniforms of the soldiers in the picture, there were quite a few inaccuracies. The first and most significant problem is the belt buckles. During the Civil War, only officers would be able to wear rectangular belt buckles. This was a sign of their rank, and everyone else would be wearing the enlisted, oval-shaped belt buckle. This caused some to speculate that the photographs are fake. However, those who believe that the creatures exist have pointed to other photos. There seems to be a few images floating around that show people posing next to these giant prehistoric creatures. Sightings of large birds throughout the world is nothing new. Various people have come forward with their encounters that detail giant winged creatures. When asked about what they witnessed, many describe a pterosaur-like creature. Some places like the Congo are allegedly home to these prehistoric reptiles, with the locals saying they're not extinct and have somehow managed to survive in the modern day. One of the most famous reports is from 1890 where two Arizona cowboys claimed to have captured a large bird. It was described as having no feathers, and it had a head similar to that of an alligator. The two men supposedly dragged the bird back to their town. Upon arriving there, the people couldn't believe that they were able to capture one. The report seemed to suggest that this creature looked more like a pterosaur, or a dragon, than any modern-day bird. Researchers are unsure of what happened to the creature once it was brought back to the town. Others have said that they can be easily explained, and that what people are actually seeing is just an undiscovered bat species. Whatever you believe, people are still reporting these creatures. The Euroa Beast The Euroa Beast mystery begins on a cold, dark, wet night in the year of 1890. This is in a small area near the township of Euroa, Australia. A swamp about 150 yards across, with a creek that flows through it, is where this story begins. A pair of young men went into the swamp to cut reeds. Reeds in that area stand around 6 foot tall, and have very thick stalks. Back then, they were used for a variety of things. As the men were working, they began to hear splashing and snorting very close by. When they looked over into the creek, the water had huge ripples, suggesting that an enormous creature had passed through it. Because of this, the men didn't feel like sticking around to see what it was, and they quickly headed home for the night. 
Both men were undoubtedly already anxious, as the swamp had a reputation of being haunted. Nevertheless, one of the two men wanted to head back to collect all the reeds that they had cut down. Whilst there, he again heard that strange sound as the night before. He jumped up onto a log to get a better view. This is when he was able to get a clear view of the creature making the strange noises. He described it as having a large head and with a face that he likened to that of a bulldog. The two locked eyes for what he said felt like ten minutes before the creature disappeared. As it rushed away, he could see this creature was almost 30 foot in length. When the man went home, he told everyone what he had seen. The tale of this bizarre event was even published in the Brisbane Courier, then in the Melbourne Argus. These are two reputable newspaper agencies in February, and again in March of the same year. This sparked a lot of interest in this mysterious creature, so much so that a local sportsman organised a hunting party to bring back the beast, as well as giving a trophy as a reward. After searching for well over an hour, the group was about to give up. As they were packing up, a sudden rustling was heard in the marsh. Two members of the party spotted the tail of the creature as it disappeared into the trunk of a large fallen tree. They reported that it was around as thick as a grown man's thigh and as long as 30 foot. Locals in the area began to fear that this animal might be the legendary Bunyip, a massive mythical reptilian creature from Australian Aboriginal mythology. The creature is believed to lurk in swamps around the country. Many attempts were made to find this giant serpent, but the only thing found was a small black snake. Skeptics have speculated that this dog-faced snake might actually be an ancient amphibian, but as of today, the existence of this animal has never been proven. The only thing researchers have is this rare eyewitness account. The Skunk Ape Back in 1974, two boys were out deer hunting in a swamp behind their home. This was in the Big Cypress National Preserve in Florida. The older of the two boys spotted something that was covered entirely with hair lying around a hundred yards away from where they were. The two boys stared at the animal until it started to rain, as it's quite common to do in Florida. As the rain began to pour harder, the creature hurried away and was lost amid the marsh. The two boys were Dave and Jack Sheely, with Jack being the elder brother. This event strongly influenced Dave as he felt they had just seen the legendary skunk ape, more commonly known as the Florida Bigfoot or Swamp Ape. This humanoid creature was said to have been talked about in Native American mythology. It's similar in appearance to Bigfoot but is known for its unpleasant odour that accompanies it. Those who have seen it have said it smells like a wet dog and skunk mixed together. Eyewitnesses have said the creature is between 7 and 9 feet tall. Various photographs have allegedly been captured of the creature, but the large majority of these are low resolution, making it difficult to find an answer for what's been captured. In the years since then, Dave has gone on relentlessly to pursue evidence of the existence of the skunk ape, going on to write field guides, make various TV appearances, and went so far as to establish the Skunk Ape Research Headquarters on his property. Back in early 2000, he captured one of his encounters on video. A low-resolution VHS camcorder footage showed a black object walking slowly near some palm trees. Critics of the video have a hard time believing the footage. This is because dozens of projects conducted in the Everglades using motion-activated trail cam and security cameras have never seen such a creature. Since then, various investigations have taken place in order to find the mysterious creature. Some have said that this creature could just be Bigfoot, while skeptics suggest the creature is simply made up. However, some have argued in favour of the beast, further saying that it could be an undiscovered species just waiting to be discovered. So what do you make of these mysterious creatures? Be sure to let us know your thoughts in the comment section below and help us by growing this community whilst working to solve these unexplained mysteries. Thank you for watching and don't forget to subscribe for more videos.